kufurahia hata kukuona siku ya leo maana hiyo ndio position yako unarudia katika jina la Yesu Amen. praise the name of Jesus nashukuru Mungu kwa vile ametudumisha katika wokovu ni kama we first born wa wazee katika hii huduma na tunapokuona tunashukuru Mungu tupigieni ndugu wetu makofi katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana asifiwe praise the name of the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen. Tumefurahia kuwa katika uwepo wa Mungu wetu siku ya leo. Na ninajua ya kwamba atatubariki kupitia kwa neno lake na Mungu wetu ni mwema. Wagari wanatarajia kutoka kwa Mungu. Praise the name of Jesus. Unajua lazima uinue tarajio lako. Wakati chakula kinaletwa hata mwili unajua kuinua appetite. Praise the name of Jesus. Unasikia una, unaanza kusikia harufu ya chakula Unaanza kusikia kusalive, tukisikia kitu tamu. Unasikia kwamba you are preparing yourself to eat. In the same way, hata katika, katika neno, we have to be ready to, to eat from the table of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Nafurahishwa na Mungu wetu siku ya leo. Natashiriki neno ambalo ameweka ndani yangu kuongezea mafundisho ya asubuhi na nimejua tayari tumeshabarikiwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want to talk about receiving a new season. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Neno la Mungu linasema katika Isaiah 45 Verse 1 in asemba I will go before you and open Hallelujah this is what the Lord says to his anointed to Cyrus whose right hand I take hold of to subdue nations before him and to strip kings of their armor to open doors before him that gates will not be shut Bwana Yesu asifiwe in the new season we are giving glory to God because he is opening gates that are not going to be shut. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Revelation 3 verse 7 inasema ya kwamba Behold I set before you an open door which no man can shut. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. These are the words of him who is holy and true who holds the key of death. What he opens no one can shut and what he shut no one can open Bwana Yesu asifiwe wakati wako tayari kuingia katika mlango ambao Mungu anafungua katika majira haya praise the name of the living God Bwana Yesu asifiwe we are entering into a new season and we have a responsibility to receive the new season praise the name of Jesus Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati wanajua ati mvua inaweza kunyesha, wakulima wakatae kupanda. How many know that? Yes. Wanaweza kosa kupanda. The season for the rain is there. Mvua inanyesha, mvua kubwa inanyesha, wengine wanapanda, lakini wengine wanaweza kukataa. We are we are supposed to receive a new season. Kama vile mkulima anajitayarisha wakati anaona mvua inanyesha na Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa majira praise the name of the lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe Genesis 8:22 inasema ya kwamba that seed time and harvest time shall never cease Bwana Yesu ainuliwe praise the name of Jesus Genesis 8:22 
Mungu wetu ni mwema sana na ni mwaminifu. Akiachilia na sisi tunapokea. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. And he is faithful to his word. Amen. Tunafaa kujua as long as the earth endures, as long as unaona hii dunia season zote zitakuwa. So lazima tujue jinsi ambavyo ya kuingia katika majira mapya. Praise the name of the Lord. Biblia inasema ya kwamba that the children of Issachar they knew, they understood the times. They knew what Israel ought to do. Praise the name of the Lord. This time Mungu wetu anatuambia what we are supposed to do at this time. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. The men of Issachar who understood times and knew what Israel should do. 200 chiefs with all their relatives under their command. They understood the seasons of God. Kama ni wakulima, walijua wakati wakupanda, wakati wakufuna, wakati wakupalilia. They knew all those seasons. As a Christian believer, you should know every season in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Biblia inasema ya kwamba, Yesu alipotazama Jerusalemu. Akalia kwa sababu watu wa Jerusalem. Hawa kujua wakati wawo kutembelewa. May the Lord open your eyes. Ili ujue wakati wako wakutembelewa na mungu katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of Jesus. I am ready to enter into a new season. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because I know yule nina muamini. He is faithful and true. Na natimiza neno lake. Praise the name of the living God. Nakaka to some from the book of John chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. Hallelujah. Yohana Bili, Moja, Hadikumi. Bibine in the same hivi. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wife was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My time has not yet come. His mother said to the servant, Do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servant, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now throw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so. And their master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from. Though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice of wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink, but you have saved the best till now. Father, we thank you for your word. We just honor you this afternoon. Holy Spirit, may you communicate to us the oracles of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hapa Biblia inatuambia ya kwamba ilikuwa siku ya tatu. Yesu Kristo akakaribishwa katika harusi. Nataka ujue ya kwamba the third day, the third day means resurrection. Inamaanisha ni wakati wa ufufio, ni wakati wa kuinuka, ni wakati wa kusimama. Na Biblia inatuambia vizuri ya kwamba Yesu Kristo alikuwa amekaribishwa mama yake labda alikuwa amekaribishwa tofauti wakakutana katika harusi hii so Jesus and his disciples was invited nataka kukwambia siku ya leo number 1 for you to receive a new season in your life you must invite Jesus in your life a 
need your situation in Jesus mighty name. Nataka utiwe siku ya leo. Yesu atembei of your of your atembei kila mahali. Yeye anagoja kukaribishwa. Praise the name of Jesus. Wakati wamekaribisha Yesu asubuhi ya leo in a special way. Kama mgeni wa heshima katika maisha yao. Jipigie makofi katika jina la Yesu. You must invite Jesus into your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu aliingia akaketi mahali pale katika harusi. Nataka kukuambia if you don't realize the presence of Jesus Christ ili ucommunicate na yeye unaweza kuwa na shida, unaweza kuishi kwa matatizo na hauwezi ukasaidika. So jambo la pili, communicate to him through prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the living God. Biblia inasema ya kwamba walipomaliza divai, Biblia inasema ya kwamba the servants wakaenda waka make sure Yesu amepata hiyo report because they knew he was not an ordinary person. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sijui kama unaweka Yesu katika maisha yako as an ordinary person. Yesu Kristo sio mtu wa kawaida the mother knew maana alikuwa anajua huyu mtoto sio kama wale wengine kina Yakobo sio kama wale wengine ambao niko na wao lakini huyu nilimzaa kupitia kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu na kwa hivyo matatizo yote anaweza kusuluhisha praise the name of Jesus communicate to Jesus Christ as so through the mother of Jesus wakahakikisha ya kwamba Yesu amepata hiyo report bwana Yesu asifiwe make sure your report reaches the throne of grace through prayer in Jesus mighty name bwana Yesu asifiwe wakati wanataka maombi yao ikapatikana katika kitu cha enzi the bible says in revelation 5 Yohana alipotazama
kwao. Mm. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ambasada wa America, msaada mshahara kila kitu anakoanga kwao. Amen. Mavazi ananunua na pesa ya kwao. Anakujaa tu hapa kubadilisha. Kwa sababu anajua kwao hakuna kitu anaweza kukosa. Anajua ya kwamba mali ambayo iko kwao. So hata sisi tukisema mafuta iko juu. Abasa ndo wa US ama United Kingdom ama wa Iraq hapa Kenya. Hata tukisema unga iko pesa mingi. After all kwao labda hata hiyo unga hawahitaji. He doesn't feel in the pinch at the economy ya hapa Kenya. Nataka kusema nini? We operate under the heavenly economy. Praise the name of the living God. Musaada wetu unatoka kwetu. Jina la Bwana Yesu lisifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sijui msaada wako unatoka wapi. Abasi just wanajua ya kwamba kwao hakuwezi kosa chochote. Uchumi ukienda juu anaongezewa mshahara wake. Nataka kusema nini Mungu wetu akitutazama. The Bible says we are the ambassadors of Jesus Christ on this earth. Na ninataka tuamini wadugu na wadada we can operate with the economy of where we come from in Jesus mighty name. Praise the name of Jesus. Kwa tumbinguni hakuna kitu ambacho kinakosekana. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Unajua akitumiwa anatumiwa kwa dola. Mwingine anatumiwa sijui ni euro, mwingine anatumiwa pounds. Pounds. Eh, mwingine anatumiwa labda shekel za Israel. Lakini ifikifika kwa hapa kwetu inabadilishwa. Our God anapotutumia msaada inakuja inakuwa converted into the physical in Jesus mighty name. Maana anajua ikiwa katika roho haiwezi katusaidia but when he sends help it is converted into the physical in Jesus mighty name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We serve a mighty and a great God. May he convert what is in the spirit in your life and make it physical manifestation in Jesus mighty name. Receive a physical manifestation in Jesus mighty name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Siupigie Bwana Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Shalaboka sina mamashi ya mbibone. Thank you Jesus. Wakati mama yake aliambiwa, Yesu walikujibu ya kwamba, Thea uma vio tumesoma hako, What do I have to do with you? And my time has not come. Lakini haku ongea. Udaeza kuona kama mama yake alikasirika. Lakini alijua, Mimi the only connection tulikuwa na huyu mama, ni kutumika kama chombo cha kuleta the communication the only connection we have na huyu kijana anaitwa Yesu mimi nilikuwa tu nitumiwe as a vessel ni mlete duniani Amen. so hata kiniita woman mimi in act of fact i just gave back to the will of god i just fulfill the prophecy na tio nataka kusema ya kwamba what we are supposed to do Yesu alimwambia Maria my time has not yet come. Lakini nataka kukuambia ya kwamba that when you are ready to receive a new season, a miracle can happen earlier before you think. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa tunasema ungoje na ni kweli we wait upon God. But there are some situations unakuta ya kwamba Mungu anaichukua as an urgent matter. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Alisema wakati wake haujafika, but he did the miracle the same day. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Unaweza kuambiwa na watu ya kwamba uwezi ukapokea mujiza majira kama haya. But our God is a God of the supernatural in Jesus mighty name. Wacha kile unaona kama kimekawia. Kile unaona kama iwezi fanyika saa hii. Yesu. Praise the name of Jesus. Receive and enter with them in the new season. In Jesus' name. Praise the name of the living God. He acted before time. Kabla 
wakati wake wa kutenda mujiza ufike alitenda Bwana Yesu asifiwe Sijui unaambi wana watu mtatendewa mujiza lini Our God is able to do it even now Even in this service today In Jesus mighty name Kwa kuwa ye anaweza Hallelujah Ye ya siwa kupostipone kila wakati Ye ya siwa kama farao Abaya alikuwa nasemba Nataka chura zikai hati kesho Naulizo unataka tukuondolea hizi chura lini Hapa ziko kwa bedroom, ziko kitchen, ziko kila mahali. Anasema tomorrow. Wakapi wataki tomorrow. Bwana Yesu sifiwe. Bwana ya sebe, mimi hizi chura sitaki kuziona hapa kwa kwa. Zina tusumbua. Ata that night. I believe it was a very long night for him. Kulala, akijua machura ziko kila mahali. Unajua zilikuwa, ilikuwa miutiz, ilikuwa ishara. So, labda zikepitia mahali popote. Labda hata kwa kula kiyoti sikependa. Bwana Yesu wa tusaidie. Our God is a God of now. Na bimbi ya kiyo ina masema ya komba. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. He has got a few more future. And he is a God of today. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu wa iduliwe. Jambo la tatu, lazima tuwe watu wapao wanatembea in obedience. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Obedience. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Amen. Hata kama unadika bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu ni muema. Mm. Obedience. Ukisoma hapo chapter 2 verse 5 to 8. Utakuta ya kwamba. Utakuta ya kwamba. How are the servants? Waliambiwa waweze kujaza hizo mituki nisikuwa mahali pale and not the same ones walikuwa nazo sio zile walikuwa mebebea hiyo divai yao ya kutengeneza nataka ujue ya kwamba what you make for yourself what you struggle for yourself is very limited haiwezi kutosha imagine ile walikuwa mtengeneza walikuwa mefikiria kitawatosha lakini haikuwatosha nataka ujue ya kwamba Hata tukingengana, tunangengana, tunangengana. Haiwezi katutosha. The only satisfaction tunaweza kupata is when Jesus performs a miracle. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Hata tukistrago, hatuwezi kutosheka. Hata mutu wakiwa billionaire, hawezi kutosheka. Hanaweza kuwa billionaire, halali usiku. Hana imagine, sasa mabiyashara zake, pesa zake, Hawezi ya katoshereka, that person has, isile bitu, has wezi nuduliwa na pesa, hana, our only satisfaction comes from God. Huyo tu, di wanaweza kutoshereka. And so the act of obedience will enable you to enter a new season in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Na unachua obedience, inahitaji, wana watu wabao, they have the heart of a servant. Bwana asifiwe. They have the heart of a servant. Ati wanaabiwa, chotemi maji. Mujaze. Mujaze kwa hizi mitungi. Na hizo mitungi, moja, ilikuwa na between 80 to 120 liters. Hiyo ni mitungi gapi ya 20 liters. Nani wanajua mento sa? 120 liters. Hiyo ni mitungi sita. Sitiyo? Ya 20 liters. Multiply by six. Twenty times. Itakuwa gapi? Itakuwa mitungi gapi? That is thirty-six. Hey, what we do? We are in a class here, yes, sir. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Mitungi sita. Iyo ni cha ni ni container moja. So there were six containers. His ni. Mitungi ni ni 36. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. 36. Walikuwa wajaze. Na siyo ati atujabu walikuwa na mfereji. Labda walikuwa naenda kuchota wanamuaka. Wanaenda kuchota wanamuaka. Na huko kwa feast. Hawajui kile kinaendelea. Nataka kusema nini. Those people who have the heart of a servant. They know the mind of God. Amen. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Wanajua mungu wanataka nini. Bwana sifiwe. 
they have the heart of a servant. Ati ni kuchota maji, eh, wacha tuende. They started, hadi wakajaza. Biblia inasema, they filled to the brim. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe. Na siyo hile kuchota ya kunungunika. Unajua ukitumika, ukiwa na mwanunguniko, haita kusaidia. Na pini ya kongo walikuwa wanachota. Kama kulikuwa na wadada, walikuwa na pepa. Kama ingina tulikuwa tunabemba kabati za mani. Unachota kwa neiba, unajaza drum, unajaza mabakes, unajaza hati biku yutu domo, hati masukuria. They were ready to do that work. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe, are you ready to be a servant? Are you ready to have a servant heart? Ini uweze kuingia katika majira mapia. Unajua hii majira tunaingia, tunaitaji watu walio na bindi. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe, kazi ya mungu inaitaji watu walio na bindi. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe, haitaji watu wa zembe, hata kuna scripture inasema jerebaya ya komba, kazi is the man who does the work of the Lord lazily. Sasa ikuwa na hawa watu, kama wakechota hiyo maji, maali wanachota wanaenda wanaketi kwaza wanapinga story. Wanaungea, hee mumeonaje hiyo arusi. Sisa hiyo ni time ya reception. Mumeonaje, bibi ya arusi, wanaungea, wanaungea, wanabia na tuende tupereke. Hiyo ikina tena wanakutana, wanaenda wakiongea. Hiyo mituki ingeja sanga. That means there were people who were acting very fast Amen. to the command of the of the of their master, to the command of Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Hii kazi ya mungu na hii kuigia a new season, it needs people who are very active. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Imagine those servants walikuwa kwa hiyo arusi. Hii kazi inahitaji those people who are ever present. Amen. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Hawake miss ata arusi they could not miss. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Usikuwe kutu wa kumiss mikutano. Utakuta watu walisha apewa kitu mpia and you are not there. Amen. Takuwa kama yule dugu walikuwa na itua Thomas. Yesu waliwatokea that day he was absent. Akawabia ya kwa mba mi musiniyabie unless we use it the scars ya mibu, na nigishe kidole mahali ya ritungu, wana mkuki, I cannot believe. Whenever you stand outside the fellowship, the people of God, you become like the doubting Thomas. Imani yako, inaenerea kuenda chini na chini. Ati hati yesu wa kutoke fiziko, umuone, mungu wetu, akusaidie. Bibiria inasema, blessing. Yesu wa nisema, after Thomas kumuguza, siya liguza? Na kamini. What statement did Jesus make? Blessed are those who believe, and yet they have not seen. Pikiya bwana Yesu makofu. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiri. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Na tunaona ya kwamba, isi bitungi, they are not the same apostles bitumika. Kweka hiba, hii divine pia. Iyo ya zamani. Si hiyo hiyo ya zamani iliisha sijui walikuwa wametengeneza namna gani lakini hizo Yesu angetumia maana Biblia inasema katika Luke chapter 5 and verse 36 inasema ya kwamba Luke 5 verse 36 He told them this parable no one tears a patch from a new garment and sew it on an old one. If he does, he will have he will have torn the new garment, and the patch from the new will more not match the old. That is seven. And no one pours new wine into old wine skins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins. The wine will run out, and the wine skins will be renewed. Ingine, pasha ingine inasema haya, no new wine, no, new wine must, situ seme must, must, must be poured into new wine skins. Pasha ingine inasema botros, haikalishi ni wapi inawekwa, so he pia, lazima ingewekwa in new containers. Na ukisoma utakuta ya komba, iliwekwa kwa zile jars, zilikuwa sinatumiwa for purification. Kupandisha ya komba, 
zilikuwa za kusafisha Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lazima tukue wasafi ndio tutumike. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hatuwezi tumiwa na Mungu tukiwa just any other like just any other person. Hizi zilikuwa zimetumika kwa kwa ile divine ilikuwa ya kwanza. Yeye haikutosha. Nataka kukusema ya kwamba ukingenana na maisha yako haiwezi kakutoshelesha. Nataka kusema jioni ya leo this afternoon that we should be people who are different na uone ya kwamba walitafuta empty jars mungu wetu anatakanga roho ambaye ni empty iko na space Amen. in jesus mighty name Amen. praise the name of the lord Amen. unajua wakati mwingine mungu anatuangalia anakuta he umejaa kabisa mungu wetu atusaidie that he shall change us into new vessels our mindset itabadilika tuone ya kwamba sisi ni watu ambao tumeitwa na Mungu the bible says in first peter chapter 2 verse 9 that we are peculiar people we are a holy nation praise the name of jesus Amen. unafaa kujua umechaguliwa na Mungu bwana yesu asifiwe wakati wanashika mimi ninasema siku ya leo praise the name of jesus Ujue ya kwamba ukiokolewa umechaguliwa na Mungu wa mbinguni into a royal priesthood in a holy nation people belonging to God that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light wewe ni mtu wa maana praise the name of Jesus wapie Mungu ni asante kwa kuniokoa hallelujah bwana Yesu asifiwe praise the name of Jesus that you are these new vessels has it to be kagi with our knowledge has it to be ki na bila tunasikia na watu has it to be ki na bila tunajua na na kabila ambalo tumetoka has it to be ki na maeneo ambayo tunaishi zinatumika na watu ambao wanajielewa that they are chosen by god from a royal priesthood you are in a holy nation ili uweze kutangaza na kuonyesha utukufu wa Mungu ambaye alikuita Bwana Yesu asifiwe unafaa kutangaza utukufu wa Mungu ambaye alikuita Bwana Yesu asifiwe you should have an empty vessel be empty praise the name of Jesus Amen. hallelujah Amen. unajua biblia inasema ya kwamba tujichunge tusikue roho zetu zimejaa mambo ya dunia mawazo ya kutusumbua mambo ambayo haifurahishi Mungu ya kwamba imejaa when you are full there is no space for new season in your life maana umejaa zile mambo ya zamani ukiendelea kusoma hiyo Luke chapter 5 utakuta mahali ambapo wanasema ya kwamba mtu akizoea divai ya zamani anasemanga hii pia sio mzuri kwa maana already amejaa these people they knew the sabba after and no one after drinking old wine was the new wine for he says the old is better you should be ready for new things in Jesus mighty name what else was if you will praise the name of Jesus you should be ready to know ya kwamba Mungu wetu hatuelezeangi kila kitu he is a god of diversities he is a god of change praise the name of the living god wakati mwingine wa israeli jangwani walikuwa wanaambiwa mkifika hapo mununue chakula na maji mahali kwingine wakifika wanaambiwa mtapewa bure mahali kwingine wakienda they are told a different thing wakati walikuwa wanafuka jonda wakaambiwa waingie ndani ya maji wakizunguka Jericho wakaambiwa kuzunguke mara saba wakienda kupigana ai wakaambiwa vile ambavyo watapigana so expect new things from God in Jesus mighty name Amen. praise the name of the lord na biblia inatuambia ya kwamba saba wakapeleka ile divai baada bado wamechota maji to the brim unajua until you have done what God has told you to do There's no miracle which can happen. Mungu wetu atusaidie. Walipochota maji wakajaza. Wakajaza kabisa kama ile chai ya zamani ya hotel. Mtu alikuwa anasema silipi ajaja. Sasa wakajaza to the brim. Walipojaza wakaambiwa sasa cha hoteli. The miracle 
happens in obedience. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Walipooba mujiza ulikuwa tayari umefanyika. Praise the name of the Lord. Walk in obedience and you are going to see the glory of God. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Be an empty vessel and trust in God. Fill your heart with the word of God. Fill your, your mind with the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. What is so sifiwe? Nikuwa tu tunasoma na vijana hawa, tukasema ya kwamba wakati unasoma neno la Mungu, you are supposed to read when you are seated, concentrate na tukasema ya kwamba you are supposed to study the word. You are supposed to meditate upon the word and you are supposed to memorize the word so that your mind can be renewed. Situkubali kushika neno la Mungu, tujaze ndani ya mioyo yetu katika jina la Yesu. Let us fill our life with the prayer. Let your life be saturated with the prayer so that you may be able to see the glory of God in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Na unajua miujiza inapotendeka inashangaza hata wale wakubwa. Amen. Huyu wabaya alikuwa MC wa hii harusi Biblia inasema ya kwamba alipopelekewa aliwauliza mbona muda muda wake ile mzuri ulete baadaye na the bible says only the servants walijua kile kilitende yeye hakujua nataka kukuambia ya kwamba it doesn't matter aliita bright group akamwambia ya kwamba kwa nini kulileta ile ile yenye sio tamu kwanza praise the name of jesus walikuwa wameshajaza tumbo na ile divai ambayo ni ya kawaida usijaze maisha yako na vitu za kawaida usijaze maisha yako na vitu ambavyo unaona na watu jaza moyo wako nimesema be empty so that you may receive the new wine the new season in your life in Jesus mighty name bwana yesu asifiwe amen kuna siku nyingine tuliambiwa na wahasia akatuambia kuna wakati watu walienda hoteli wakati walienda maskosi zikaletwa na soup wakakula wakakula wakashikwa kabisa walifikiria hiyo ndio mbili wakashiba hapo <laughs> wameshiba kumbe sasa ndio chakula inaletwa nyama pilau chapati wameshashiba ndio hao walifanya si Mungu wetu atusaidie tujue ya kwamba there are things ambazo ni ya pekaisa Bwana Yesu asifiwe God is bringing great things Bwana Yesu asifiwe our God is bringing the best Amen Imagine tu kwa mtu imejaa maskosi hivi labda amekula tano paketi yote ile ya Naivas inakuwa na sita amekula yote amemaliza Alafu sasa ndio nyama zinaanza kukuja na tray hana space ya kuweka. Si ukue tu na space kwa ajili ya Mungu. Tofautisha between appetizer na the main meal. Praise the name of Jesus. Utishikusitosheke na mambo madogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that you may think or ask. According to the power that is at work in us. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati unataka kutosheka na appetizer. Haleluya. Yaani unakuja appetizer unasema nimeshiba. Hata saa mwezi niona kanisa ni bidi nishashiba. Na hiyo kwanza sio balance diet, scones na soup. Au chakula proteins, au chakula greens, au chakula the right food. Mungu wetu atusaidie. Nataka tujue ya kwamba God has great things on our lives. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. We should be ready to receive the new season. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nimesema we welcome hata tumeshaandikiwa. Be an empty vessel. Wacha kuvjida umejaa mahasira, umejaa malalamiko, umejaa sijui hata nini. So many things. Hakuna kitu naona mzuri kama wale watu wameambiwa katika ni Jeremiah 17 wanaambiwa that cast is the man who trust in another man wanaambiwa ya kwamba they never see any good coming hawaonangi kitu yote mzuri kikuja kwa maisha yao kwa sababu 
Hata laana ya mungu hiko juu yao Because of trusting in men Mungu wetu wa tusaidie We put our trust in the law Dio tusijae Bwana esu wa sifiwe Si ujambia jirani yako wacha kujanga Na kumavitu mingi Mahasira Uvivu Makelele Bwana esu wa tusaidie Hallelujah Tuwache kujana manumuniko Tunajua ya kwamba the book of numbers Thimu yake ilikuwa Unbelief Walikosa kuwamini mungu Hawa kufika in time So when you believe God We arrive in time Praise the name of the Lord Hawa walipo nyenyekea Mujiza wao ulikucha in time Because they had a servant heart Praise the name of the living God Bwana esu wa sifiwe Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifii wewe. Yesu alijua who mujiza hata hawatajua imetendeka namna gani. Things that are supernatural hasijulikani na watu wanajionaka ni wakubwa. Hata huyu mtu hakujua imetoka wapi. The servants Biblia inasema walijua. Na inasema haisemi walimwambia. Labda yeye sasa jua alikuwa ameshipa hakukunywa. Mungu wetu atusaidie that we may preserve our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Tuachirie mioyo yetu, tuachirie maisha yetu. Ili mungu yetu, akuje atujaze ile mambo ambayo inafa. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. Wana Yesu wa inuliwe. Sijui mahali unaishi, kama watu wana kuwanaka umejaa nini. Sijui kama umejaa the new wine, ama umejaa the old wine. Unajua watu wabaye, wamekunyu wa old wine wanajulikana hati kwa plot jumutu akishipa anatoaka kile ya konacho bwana yesu atusaidie akitoka hivi kwa mlango hadi watu wanasema woi kama mwingine tulikuwa tunaishi hapa siku moja tukatoka sokoni tukakuta kapaka ka, 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 kapaka kake kadogo kamekufa kadogo kabisa katoto alipiga kelele aliongea hey hadi baba mwingine akakuja akamuuliza kwa nini umetutusi hivi hivyo hmm? yani na asbol kasbol katika naitwa kanaitwa kitchen kadogo hata kalikuwa labda kama siku ama wiki may the lord help us mtu huwa anatoa kile amejaa praise the name of the lord mungu wetu atusaidie as we enter the new season tuodoe kujaa vitu mbaya amen praise the name of jesus amen. mungu wetu atusaidie hata vile tunaishi katika katika jamii wacheni kile kinatoka ndani yetu iwe ambayo inaletea mungu utukufu tumesoma katika first peter 2 second peter 2 verse 9 ni first peter tumesoma ya kwamba ili tulete utukufu kwa mungu ambaye anatuita amen people who enter a new season they are ready to show the glory of their God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Magapi wakotaya kukokea majira mapia. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive a new season? Are you ready? Praise the name of Jesus. Hata wala wana batizu wa siku ya leo. Be ready to receive a new season. Praise the name of Jesus. Ukikia dani ya hiyo maji. Unajua ukikia dani ya maji. You are signifying the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Na unakuta hawa, hiyo arusi nikuwa the third day. Mungu wetu atusaidie. It is a season of resurrection. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Na mungu wetu akotayari kukufanikisha katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Even katika kanisa hithi, we are entering a new season. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Mwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Na sifiwe kama utakuwa mboja wa kuwache wa jupa kama umeja. Najua wale watu wanaja. Iso, iyo ya kwanza Tumesema ya kwanza Hey, uwa wanawache wanyuma Because they don't communicate to God Na tulisema last time Katika Acts chapter 2 Tukasema ya kwamba The believers, they continued in fellowship They continued in the breaking of bread And they continued in the war Waniendere ya pamoja Mungu wetu atusaidie. Jaza hizo vitu katika moyo wako. Amen. Jaza hizo vitu katika maisha yako. Yes. And all these are the things tunatafuta zitatufuata. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God. And all these things apaso tunatafuta 
zitatufuata in Jesus name. Amen. We are operating under a heavenly economy. Amen. Hey, but the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. I shall not what? Sita pungukiwa na kitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kikuyu nasema ya kuwa mabdire kendo kiega ingiaga. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. And we are entering a new season. Amen. And we don't want to leave anyone behind. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hatuwachi kina mama nyuma. Hatuwachi waze nyuma. Hatuwachi pijana nyuma. Hatuwachi watoto wetu nyuma. Unaenda tuwa mawapema katika jino la Yesu. Praise the name of the living God. Oh hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Kusti mame tumuabie buwana. As we enter in the new season. We need to be to overflow with new wine. What about how I could have been you are here? Yeah, your feast, your kwanza. What if you are the new wine? What a shiba. Hallelujah. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18. Jawa, Naroho, Takatif. Shalazi wako shele bakan. 